Hello and welcome to the demonstration for the Drupal Backup and Migrate module. To begin, you're going to want to head over to drupal.org slash download and download the Backup and Migrate module. You can find the Backup and Migrate module pretty easily when you get to the download page. Simply go to the Most Installed and hit the More Most Installed link. Scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page and then just a couple back you'll see the backup and migrate module. Click the link and that will actually take you to the project page for the backup and migrate module and then you can see the various versions from version 5 all the way through version 7 different developmental snapshots and so forth that you can download. Typically you will want to install the uh, the latest recommended version and that's what we're going to download today. And once we've got that installed, we'll go ahead and go through a full installation process. If you're unfamiliar with how to do an installation, you'll want to refer to one of our other videos for how to typically install one of your Drupal modules. Now that we've got our module installed, we're going to want to go ahead and actually do some configuration there. And I'll show you where you'll adjust the settings um, by finding that here on the site. We've got the admin menu, so you'll see um, it's easily findable underneath the content area and it's listed under Backup and Migrate. If I click the link here, it takes me to some different settings that I have and those begin with a quick backup option. The quick backup option is essentially, hey, if I just want to do a real quick save and grab it and go, th that's what I'll use. It's not going to give you the advanced settings, table settings, and so forth. It's just more basic. You can create a profile that you can use, um, which you see here, start settings and default settings. You could actually have a typical list of things that you want to do and have one of those. And then again, you've got that one-click access, so you don't have to continually do some of the more advanced things. There are advanced options, which you can either find through the advanced backup page link found here or clicking on the advanced backup tab. A lot of the settings are going to be the same, and you can see that I can load one of those profile settings, or at the bottom I can actually create a new one. Um, and so here's some different things you do. We want to have the timestamp. This lets you know which date and so forth that you created it. Do you want to compress the file? Which tables do you need if you want to exclude certain tables from the backup? Um, by default, you're going to not keep the cache, and it's not necessarily that the tables are gone, but simply that the data from those tables is not going to be kept because they can actually add some really hefty file size, and you may not really want to do that. You've got some other advanced options, like if you want to have those emailed, if you'd like to take the site offline while you're doing the backup and migrate and so forth. And then the destination. Do you want to have that stored on your server where you can access it easily, or do you want to download it to your local machine? And then again, save the settings. Uh, if you'd like to have that something be uh, replicated in the future, you notice we've got a profile name. We're going to maybe call this uh, demo profile. And go ahead and back up now and it's then creating a backup for us and now you see that the database has actually been successfully backed up. We now have something that we can download and restore or delete. Now you'll also notice there's a couple of other options across the top. If you hit the restore link, any files that we've got on the, system, on the server, we can go in and access them from here. If you hit the destinations, you'll see the various folders where they're, they're stored. Uh, manual backups are going to go here. And so you see the one that we just completed here a few seconds ago is actually available and we can again download, restore that, or delete that file. We can also create a new destination which is essentially a place where those are going to be stored and if we need to set those up you can do that here. Then you also have your profiles. Your profiles are those settings that are, these are the way that I want it to save every time. So if you're going to be doing that on a continual basis, if you're doing a lot of development, you may have certain settings that you want to preserve. This is where you'll save that again. We, you saw us save it is as demo profile settings. We can use those exact same settings over and over without having to go through the advanced system. So if we go back to the backup, now we can use the quick backup and then select the demo profile settings over some other settings like default settings or start settings and so forth. Last, you have a schedules area. Now this is great if you want to have your site backed up at a specific time and date. You can click the create a new schedule 
and then it asks you some specific details that you want to, okay, we want to enable that. Uh, we want to call this a daily backup. We'll use our demo profile settings and we'll have that backed up every day. You know what, I, if it's going to do it every day, I don't need it. Let's just say save it for seven days just in case something crazy happens, but then you know it deletes them so you don't have just hundreds of database uh, backups stored on your server. And then we'll go ahead and put that in our scheduled backups directory. Save the schedule. And now we have a database backup that will run on a daily basis for us. So this is just a quick overview of how backup and migrate works. But anytime you're doing any sort of development or uh, configuration changes, site changes, um, you know, even if you've got people inputting data, it's a good idea to have a system like this in place so you're never more than, you know, 24 hours um, at a loss from getting your data back up on your website.